Uh, Richard, so many people have experiences. <coughs> And so many people say, if it wasn't for Jesus, or if it wasn't for God, or if it wasn't for Allah, right. you know, and they will tell you, and they stake their life on it, they stake yeah. their reputation on it, they're passionate, they're enthusiastic, you know, they live half their lives mm -hmm. telling this to others. This, yeah. yeah, so wh are you telling me that if somebody yeah. just reflected for five minutes, they would say, well, all science. Wow. But no, they, they, would, they were not reflecting five minutes because what you're talking about, like the whole, like, all these lucky things that happened to me must come from God. Right to understand why that's not logical requires really understanding statistics and probability theory, right? And that's not easy, right? You can't just do that in five minutes. If you haven't learned that stuff, it's going to take longer than five minutes for you to learn it. But it's another example of looking at the big picture, understanding, like, if you look at in terms of just probability, obviously, if there's no God, lucky chances and good luck things are going to happen to you anyway, right? But it's hard to get to the point of realizing that, yeah, and when you're looking at there's six billion people on the planet, that means uh, if, if you say some lucky thing happens to you and it's a billion to one odds against, well, actually, it's happening to six people because, <laughs> right, six billion people. So uh, these sort of incredible good luck events are definitely going to happen just on sheer chance alone. But to get to the point where you understand that and realize, oh, okay, so then I need to be able to distinguish what is just lucky outcome and what is something that actually is uh, a supernaturally caused thing. And then, of course, that's even after you've eliminated the stuff that's not actually lucky outcome, but it's actually science. So someone will say, like, God cured my cancer, and well, actually, you had a whole bunch of medical treatment. <laughs> right? Like, science <laughs> cured your cancer, it wasn't God. Um, but even if you eliminate that, like, people realize, like, no, actually, science is doing what you're talking about. Uh, you still have these chance coincidences. You have to sort of, how do you tell the difference between just being lucky and God doing something for you? And, and, and if you don't sit back and reflect and think, oh, actually, I don't know how to tell the difference between those two things, um, then you can't make that argument, right? And so, but that's, that's again of stepping back and looking at the big picture, which most people don't do. For those who think beyond boundaries, where is your pride?